Fans are pumped here in Winnipeg tonight because they get to cheer on NHL hockey once again. The Jets take to the ice. Opening face-off on the horizon, Eddie Olchek alongside. Let's get his impression of this matchup. The two official languages of Canada are English and French. I thought one of them was hockey, but that's for another day. Here in Winnipeg, I wonder if they'll start learning Finnish, Doc. First, we saw the great Finnish flash. Timo Solani set a rookie record. Then Patrick Laine, another Finland native, drew crowds back in. Everyone here speaks the language of goal scoring, though, and the fans come to talk about a winning score for their team. Somehow, this one's going to come free. Got that pass in his own end. Things are heating up with that hit. Hainsey's play it. Score! An early goal, and they set that home team back. Sometimes when you score first, you take the edge off your own team. That can't happen. You're up one, go make it two. Toronto's got the first one. Boy, I saw this coming, they had the momentum. Winnipeg's collected another victory on the faceoff. Compelled to chair off. Slides it to the point. Chip to Cherot. Loose puck did not go very well there. Takes it in from the neutral zone. Good shooting place. Score! He's got his second of the game. Slap shot had some heat on it. Now you do your best to see if you can get in front of it, but that is just too quick a shot for the goaltender. Just a hair over four minutes played here in the first. Two goals have been scored, both by one team. Now it's directed to Hyman. Got it in his own end. Passing one off now to Trouba. Huge hit in open ice. You go through that area of the ice, there's a pretty good chance you're going to get hit. Trouba's hurt here. He's just going to go back to the bench. He's in some kind of pain. Wonderful save with the glove. Cut that pass in his own end. Steals it in the attacking zone. Wonderful stop. Kicked away. Dogged determination there by John Tavares. Really solid possession and pressure. Not done yet, though. Back to the blue line. Can't find the lane. To the half wall. Forks it to Tavares. Skates out with it. Point to point to Gardner. Look out. The hits are coming. Puts on the moves out front. Great stick there. Long lead pass to Perot. May not have intended it, but it hit him. No whistles mean continuous play, which means less coaching, which means the team that is going to be successful is going to be the one with the players that can think the quickest. Trouble's injury is a result of this huge hit. Puck drop, tie up, and help from the winger. It's dumped in. Great take, dangerous area. Snapping a pass to Kapanen. To the point it comes. Puts one on. Oh, a save there. Need to get rid of it. The Leafs have it in their own end. Picked up by the defense. Side to side they go, trying to generate something. A backhand shot. That one well off target. Pass to the slot. A shot. 
hit the post with the shot. Hangs on to that one for a stoppage in play. Tough to stomach from a shooter's perspective. That was a perfect shot. The goaltender can't get to it, but you get nothing for it. It's dropped. They lock up, and that's a good shot by the wing. In the first period. Well done with that pass. He hangs on and gets the whistle. Good face-off win. Got it at the point. Watch out, a big hit. One way to wear down your opponent, play physical. That's exactly what happened there. First period has been played. An interesting start to all of this. Continuation in just a moment. The Maple Leafs have a 2-0 advantage. Are you ready for your walk down memory lane? Then join us for our fantasy camp. Play hockey with your childhood hero. Elander's goal advanced this for his team from a one-goal lead to a two as we head to break. One period played, a second period is about to begin. What do you think of what we've seen so far? The Jets are down in this game, Doc, and rightfully so. They did not manage the puck at all. If they want to get back in that game, they got to eliminate those turnovers. Trying to go to Hainsey, and he recovers, still with it. Hammers one, outstanding save made off a terrific chance. Pass attempt to Connor. Zone to zone to Matthews. And he steps in. Sends to the point. Look out, here it comes. Oh, he's been looking for that hit all night. The Leafs skated up on the side. Gathered up again by Wheeler. Slid to Little. Oh, the pass just didn't work. Gives it over to the point. In the slot. An enormous court job on that one. Recollected. Directing that one to Marlowe. Shoots one. The lane was jammed and it hit somebody. Laid on to Little. Wonderful block. And at an angle, Gatruba went to the backhand. Wonderful chance to score, but no. Anderson's had a very good night, but he's had long stretches of inactivity. And between shots, his team has put up a couple of goals. Gardner's eyes were as big as saucers. He sees the opponent with his head down, and he steps up for a huge hit. Under nine minutes have transpired here in the second. The Maple Leafs are ahead, two to nothing. Clean win on the draw. Stolen at center ice. Gains the zone. Points it. Fires! Score! They're back to within one! Well, he had a lot of time and space there to let that wicked shot go from far out. That is a heavyweight shot. Well, that was by the goaltender before he even had a chance to move. Outstanding shot. The Jets, with the scoring of that goal, have cut the lead in half. And still an entire period to play. The Maple Leafs win the draw. What's next? Has that one measured at center. Shot on. Oh, my. That one was way wide. You find yourself in the slot with the puck on your stick. You better at least make the goalie make the save. Unfortunately, he shot that one well off. I'd like to say that I think this game is going to open up and there's going to be all kinds of chances all over the place, but both teams have really adopted a never-give-an-inch style of play. I think this is tight checking right down to the final horn. Let's it go, and a save. Pitching it to Roslovic. On to Kopp. 
That puck exits the zone, so play has to reset. To Cobb. Pitching this one to Kulikov. Gotten quickly back. And he picks it up. Propelled the Juris. Steps in from the neutral zone. In the slot. That puck was obstructed by a screen. Chip to Dano. To Zaitsev. Players tired about to get a rest as we go late into the second period. Brings a shot. Great glove save. Play continues. Free puck off a defender. The Jets are skating it up in neutral ice. Let's it go. Well, they got to be a little tired after these first two periods of play, so they'll get a rest as we start to think ahead toward period number three. Let's check out the shots on goal through these two periods. Nine for the Maple Leafs and six for the Jets. His team is trailing, but you can't blame him, at least on this one. That big save has kept his team in it as we head to break. 40 minutes have been played. They are getting ready for the third period here. So take us back through the game. What do you think, Eddie? Winnipeg's got to tighten up their playmaking in the third. They've tried to force the play and have ended up turning the puck over several times in this game. That's why they've fallen behind. Slid to Riley. What a tremendous hit. Matthews, score! Oh, no! The referee's waving it off. No goal. Winnipeg's up in arms here. They feel their goaltender was interfered with. The referee's going to agree. This will be no goal. The Jets from the neutral zone start to work. Around through the corner. Good intercept in his own end. With a shot, snapped out of the air. And holds on to that puck to get the whistle. Winnipeg's got that face-off win. Taken away. Nylander's trying to do way too much there with that offensive opportunity. In with it now. Puck loose now picked up. Stands him up. Looking for options out of their own end. Looking to Nylander. in the slot. The Jets skated up on the side. Let's it go. Score! And this one is tied. at various times like one team or the other would have a little bit of the upper hand doesn't matter anymore we're back to zero zero we go down to the benches here's ray just spoke to a representative from the road team they're going to be short a player for the rest of the night the injured player won't come back laid on to perot stole that pass at a critical end of the ice Toronto's on the move, hoping to wheel it up the wing. To Roslovic. Leads that charge into the zone. A big collision in the middle of the ice. Some of the more difficult hits to deliver are one in the open ice. That is a very good one. Perot's clearly in some anguish here. He's working his way back to the bench, but he's hurt. Big collision in open ice. 
I know lots of people like high-scoring games. Well, actually, I'm one of them. But this has been almost like a well-played chess match. There's no room. There's no way that either team can find a way to get many more chances than there's been. Pearl's been in discomfort since this hit here. The Jets' trainer has gone from the bench. As I look down there, they're short a player, and the player's getting evaluated for an injury in the locker room. They lock up from the draw, and the he scores! Three straight goals! Man, they're excited here. They've broken the tie. They've got the lead. But now you have to concentrate and get right back down to work. Winnipeg's got the lead now by one. Third period of play. It'll be a wonderful finish. The Jets get it off the faceoff. Moving it to Shifley. Tyler Myers. Lifts the stick and steals the puck. Puck is thrown to Tavares. And he dumps it in. In the slot! Strong shooter against a strong goaltender, and the guy with a trapper won. Over five minutes remaining here in the third. Winnipeg's gotten the tie broken. Maybe they can build on this. Shifley's got an important face-off win. Skates it into the zone. Gathered up by Kadri. Ah, oh, that's a good quick poke check there. Now it's directed to Kulikov. Takes that pass. He throws it there. The big pillows came in handy. Passing one off now to Johnson. And they are in. Shoots. Oh, what a break. That shot hit somebody. Last minute of play. It's frantic time. Play. Under a minute to go. That puck is out of play in the stands. Anderson stretched out as far as he can go. He just got a chunk of that shot. Hey, Ray, what's going on down there? Word from the home team's locker room is they're going to be short a player for the rest of the night. The injury occurred a while ago. He will not return. Pitched right ahead through center. The play is offside. Back to center ice. And coming up is the biggest face-off of this game. Off that faceoff from the tie-up, the help came. Pass cut. That's a really dangerous area with the puck, and he turned it over. Now the opponent has a short ice to attack. That puck has to go forward into a safe area 100% of the time. Toronto's pulling their goalie, saying, take a chance. Why not? On to Riley. And Rip the Hainsey. No! That shot exploded off his stick, and he just missed. Can't net open. Terrific shot block. He's got that pass at the point. Shoots one. Took that right away. You got to battle through a screenplay. Propelled. Net open. He scores. <laughs> game tonight after that empty netter. Sayonara, that pretty well puts this one away. Jets goal, scored by number 27. The horn signals the end of the game, the clock at zeros. The Maple Leafs gave it a good effort. They went with six attackers, didn't pay off. You have to take a risk in pulling your goaltender when you're trailing in a hockey game. That's exactly what happened. 
nothing to show for it except the loss. And again, we thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed the evening as much as we did. For Eddie Olchek and Ray Ferraro, Mike Emmerich saying good night.